and welcome back to the Pioneer Sideline. I'm your host, Aaron Cooney. Episode 127 here, and we've got a special guest, Shane Lucas, stopping in to talk with us. Little men's soccer, they found themselves on a very big run. Shane, thank you very much for stepping in no with problem. us. No problem. Thanks and, for having me. You know, before we came on, you were talking, uh, it's your fifth year, you're a redshirt freshman, uh, so sat out. So you've really seen the progression of this team ever since. And um, mm -hmm. what, what have you seen change throughout these past five years? Uh, well, definitely Coach Walsh, you know, being part of the uh, program his first year. And then uh, the, just the recruiting overall, uh, we got new players in, you know, you could see from all over the world. And uh, it's just, you know, just a progression from being here is you know first year and the fifth it's you could see the see where we are from two years ago with one win now to 11. Yeah, so. and you mentioned uh coach Wallstrand really have, has his coaching uh strategy or anything changed over the years because we know he's he coached both the men's and women's team right. uh, at one point but now he's singly focused on the men's team has anything really changed from him yeah no definitely his uh his entire strategy changed uh two years ago whenever he had you know both men's and women's he was just busy we did s similar things you know um conditioning wise and just we had to practice together in the afternoon and it just was it was a tight tight schedule now he has always focused on us he could you know strategize a little bit better you know have a little uh preparation for other teams and you know it's just easier to focus on just us instead of the women's what was the attitude coming into the season after the way you guys really uh came together had a good eight and nine finish there to last season and then coming into here what was the attitude like coming into the season well we uh we expected to win you know, early. Uh, we uh, took Notre Dame, our final game of the year last year, to over just single overtime. And, you know, they were ranked, I think, second in the country at that time, undefeated. So that gave us, you know, a little bit of confidence ending the year on that note. And uh, they actually went to lose in the, the championship game. So it was, you know, something we could build off of last year. And then we had good off season down in Florida. We tied one game and won one game. And, uh, you know, we were just wanted to win and we had all older guys we were young now we're all old and we know what it takes to win so and you mentioned being old you just a lot more experience and how important is that to have you know 10 of your 11 starters come back this year it, it's very important I think uh, I always I always harp on that you know experience 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 our conference is a lot different than the non-conference games you know our conference is a lot more competitive it's tougher and I uh, just it, you could it shows you know our first conference game we lost the Walsh I think it was our first conference game but you know, we, we bounced back both times after losing to them. So you could see the the old team at Old Point Park, would we would have fell apart. You know, now the experience, it takes us and we get a rebound win, you know. And you mentioned uh, last year's team a lot. You know, you had five one-goal losses, and you lose a player like Schneckenreiter. And were you guys worried about where the offense was going to come from this year? No, I, we knew uh, players like Francis and uh, Matt A, we call him Matt A, uh, just had the caliber to, you know, be successful, and it was just growing. Matt, Maddie always had injuries in the past. Francis, you know, he just needed some help up top, and as you can see, we added Lucas and uh, Wendell and Hobel, who is an assist machine. He just he could play the balls all the time, so it's just, it comes from everywhere now, and, you know, I, we all love Schnecke, but it's, it's, we don't really miss him, you know, it's, we've been doing well, but if we had him, it would be great, obviously. And you mentioned some of those new transfers in, and um, did you expect the, the kind of performance you'd get from Wendell and Hobel or, or Lucas Silva and, and the way uh, Francis has, um, you know, there, there are shines of a good good player that he could be and he's really just progressed this year. And, uh, did you expect the kind of performance out of these new guys? Uh, we expected it from Francis, especially Liz and Snecky. Uh, we knew what we talked to him, uh, me and Alex, the other captain, we said to him, you know, we need you to step up and, you know, you're a junior now, you need to step up and be that player. We need to score goals and be a leader on this team. And, uh, you know, Lucas Silva, he's been a surprise as a freshman, being able to come in and score goals, like a big one against Houghton, overtime winner. And uh, Wendell and Hubble, he's had good experience in his past, so we kind of had an idea of what he could do. Uh, it was just about getting the chemistry with us, and obviously it's worked. Now, Zeke O'Donnell, uh, he's been around for three years as well with you, and, you know, him being a senior. Um, and then you have a guy like Mitchell Kalman step in mm -hmm. uh, due to injury to Zeke O'Donnell. But how tough is that for you, you know, a guy that you've, played with uh, for the past five or four years to see him have to sit on the sideline with an injury. Yeah, it's it's hard, uh, especially the way his injury came about. You know, he went through all the preseason work, and uh, I think it was two days before our first game, he got his foot checked out and was actually found out he wasn't going to be able to play. And it was a little uh, expectation for Mitch that, you know, okay, all of a sudden I need to step in and be the starter. And he's done great. You know, we've watched him progress from – being an average goalie into a very good goalie this year and you know we're comfortable with him and we're comfortable with Zeke so what whoever needs to step in you know that's that's what this team is all about everybody's ready to do their job 
Now, uh, you talked about the experience and um, with so many upperclassmen, you get six seniors and I think seven juniors. Is, is now the time you need to really take advantage of uh, this conference and now is the time to go out and win? Yeah, I, I, we feel uh, the way this season is shaped up, you know, it's, it's our time, it's this year. Uh, we feel we could get to the national tournament through our playoffs and the playing game like you mentioned earlier. And, you know, with our experience and our leadership, we really think it needs to be done this year. If not, you know, P Coach Walsher has this program going in the right direction and they'll be, they'll be good for more years. How big is it for you guys to host the AMC tournament uh, as soon as we get the situation figured out of where we're going to play? Right, right. Uh, it's huge. We uh, we just traveled up to Roberts and Houghton a week and a half ago. The weather was horrible. It's upstate New York, near Buffalo almost, and, uh, you know, it's just the weather is windy. It's cold. It could be snowing, you know, in a week. Who knows mm -hmm. with that? But uh, it's huge because we don't want to travel five hours on a bus and have to play a playoff game. We want them to come to us, and we want to be relaxed and ready to go. Shane Lucas, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, a guy who's been here for five years with Coach Walsh, so we put an asterisk next to that record for most wins in soccer history. This guy's been here for every single one of them. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Stopping by. Appreciate it. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Be sure to stick around. We're going to talk a little women's volleyball. Is there up on a tear as well? Don't go away.